My name is May. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, I feel a little bit awkward to speak in English right now. But since I'm in the US and I've been staying in New York City for three months already, I feel like I need to step out of my comfort zone, practice as much as possible. That's the way to improve, right? But today is such a pleasant day in New York. And I feel like going out instead of just like staying home all the time to do a unique food challenge. Because lately I've been craving for Taiwanese cuisines a lot. And I just found out that there are so many cool Taiwanese Chinese restaurants just near my area. Blackpink in my area. And the topic would be living an ordinary Taiwanese day in New York City. And we will find out how much money I spend on all the food in the end of the day. Starting from Taiwanese breakfast, I found a cute little spot called Whole Foods, located in East Village that serves scallion egg pancakes Anton and savory soy milk. These are all my favorites growing up as a Taiwanese. There's yotiao and some spicy oil, scallion pancake. Although the restaurant is quite small with not many options on the menu, the food I ordered turned out very authentic. The scallion pancake is crispy outside, very tasty. Made me remind of home. Savory soy milk is surprisingly decent with yotiao and spicy oil inside. The soy milk is very creamy and flavorful. With fritters, soaked in soy milk is a multi-layered flavor that I can't get enough of. Now I'm in the front of a very famous Chinese restaurant called Lao Yu Ji. People said that they have really authentic and flavorful Hainan chicken. Although it's apparently not originated from Taiwan, but we Taiwanese really enjoy Hainan chicken a lot. So here we are and let's check it out. May I order a whole chicken and rice, regular size? Okay. Oh, so I, I got a student ID, but is it the same meal or like the portion is different? It's small. This for $9 is very small. Oh, it's okay. Then I'll get the regular one. How many have your student ID? I have my ID or can I get a discount? Okay, cool. Shrimp and pork dumpling, six pieces. So now I got everything uh, Hainan chicken with the soup and the sauce, and this is the pork and shrimp dumpling. Wow, I think the portion is quite big for me. Look at the rice. I don't think I can finish that, but since I'm just like craving for everything, so I think, yeah, maybe I'm not going to finish it. Mm. Mm. How can the chicken be so nun? Super tender. Wow, this chicken is really good. I Taiwan Totally blew me away. I'm so in love with the chicken rice. It's so oily. Soak in the chicken oil. Mm. Let's give you guys a basic concept for a set of Hainan chicken in Taiwan, in Taipei, where I live. It's, it costs around three to six US dollars, depending on the quality and the portion. Uh, even though I got a student discount, but with the tips, it's still $16. Still a big price difference, obviously. But to be honest, I think it's, it's very reasonable. Like $14, and I can got really full and satisfied. Definitely will want to visit here again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
I didn't have too much expectations on this because I just found this place randomly and I didn't even check it on the internet about the reviews. But it turns out really good. Skin of the dumplings is not that thick. The flavor is quite nice. A lot of stuffings inside. Try another one. Mm. What I also found interesting is that the way they wrap your dumplings. It's quite beautiful, right? Different from what I usually have in Taiwan. I'm so in love with their spicy oil. Mm. $10 for six dumplings. That's quite astronomical. Back with the chicken rice. Not going to remove the chicken skin because it tastes so good. I'm so full right now, but I couldn't help walking to a very famous Taiwanese boba tea called Xingfu Tang. I think for general Taiwanese people, a meal cannot be completed without a boba tea or a tea drink, whatever it is. Do you agree on that? This place got so much hype in New York recently. The other day I visited, there's such a long queue in front of the door. The vibes of East Village. Very artistic, very laid back. Ooh, okay, it seems like there's no queue today. It's quite lucky. Ah, it's close. It seems that the Bobati is not open until 2 p.m. I'm sitting here sipping a coffee, waiting for my Bobati. What a chill day. Hi, can I have an ice brown sugar boba milk tea? I want to do medium. And can I adjust the sweetness yeah, level? No oh, there's no additional yeah, sugar. All the sugar come from the boba. You can adjust your boba level. I think I'll just do regular boba. Regular milk, please. So here I got my brown sugar boba tea from Xing Fu Tang. I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It actually tastes so good. It's so similar to what I had back in Taiwan. Although I never heard of this place, Xing Fu Tang. Maybe there's a few spots I just never noticed that. I was very surprised that this place got so much hype in New York City. And I really love the fact that they made the bobas just right in front of you. It's made fresh. Uh, it's pretty appealing to see that the boba is still with brown sugar and the texture is so soft and chewy. Although they didn't allow me to adjust the sweetness level, but surprisingly it's not very sweet. In Asian standards with an ideal amount of sweetness and creaminess. I really like that they added a big portion of milk which tastes really creamy and nice so satisfying ten dollars for one boba tea Woohoo! Uh, so in taiwan it costs around three dollars and sometimes you can get two dollars for a nice boba tea as well so if you ever come to new york city and you wanted to try an authentic taiwanese boba tea highly recommend you to come to this place xing fu tang it's proven by a real Taiwanese. Yo, I'm at a gym. It's a small gym, although it's small, but it's well equipped. It's just in my building. So today I'm not going to skip my gym session, especially I just ate so much. Yeah, I feel like doing some pull-ups, some leg exercises, to burn off some calories and to eat more afterwards. Yeah. Like Bonnie
Ding Tai from Dumplings, the Vince of Wadal. Beef noodle soup! Good idea! Let's see your little meal, ba! Hey! Shanai to Manchu, Taiwan, your little meal! Hey! What's all I got? I got a baba little to Tante. So, this is a Tante Ming, the Taiwan Coop. Can I say, like, ba, go little, those are lucky number. We are down the beast. 走路十分鐘就到了 我現在開始講中文了<笑> Get a bowl of beef noodle soup and then the the zhu xie gao, the pig blood cake. I, I <laughs> you like that? Oh my god, that's my favorite. Oh, can I have spicy oil? Thank you. Ah, got the beef chunks. It looks so delish. The pig blood cake. Beef noodle soup is a very iconic Taiwanese cuisine. My mom will make it like once a month for me. Let's try it out. Mm. 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 This is actually a qualified beef noodle. I love that they use thin noodles. It's really smooth in my mouth. The soup tastes really good. Like they definitely do it for at least a few hours. You can tell that the beef chunks is super tender. Mmm. Immediately melted in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Let's try the pig blood cake. Du xie gao ne, this is my from childhood favorite Taiwanese口感就是超好吃的很適合我這種那麼愛重口味的人
可能比台湾有一些餐厅还要好吃很多。我本来想说，这绝对不会比我妈的好吃啊，可是我现在真的觉得，哦，好像也不差哎、欸。假爸，很好吃的一餐，现在心情非常好。那我的肚子快炸，那我觉得这家餐厅我蛮推荐的。如果你是在纽约的台湾人的话，很推荐来吃。OK， 去结账。OK， thank you。Although I understand that not everyone would agree that it's the so-called Taiwanese day, because we're living such a diverse culture where everyone just has their own preferences. Yeah, but for me, it's certainly the most Taiwanese day I've ever had in the U.S. From this food challenge, I'm quite surprised and amazed at how authentic the food could be and how popular Taiwanese food is with the locals. So, as calculated, I spent around 100. US dollars today. That's like five times higher than what I would spend in Taiwan. But yeah, of course, I think the price is reasonable, but still kind of not reasonable. We all know that living in New York is just like super expensive. Especially with the tax and the 20% tips, the money just keep flowing out subconsciously. That's why I realized that being able to cook is such a blessing and a must-have skill while living abroad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If me speaking English makes you feel very weird, maybe I would just consider how I would adjust that in my following videos. But I still feel very proud of me, like at least trying out something different and just like trying to reach wider audience. Maybe that works. Maybe that doesn't work. But anyway, that's it. I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.